Kerala. Your dream vacation to Turkey starts from Rs. 79,999 only with GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Hello and welcome to Kalata Plus. In this video review episode, we are going to be talking about Mari Selvaraj's Vare. The film has some Tamil film compromises, but it is a work of terrifying cinematic beauty. Now, there's a remarkable short story in Mari Selvaraj's Vare, and it begins in the second half when a school teacher named Pungodi Nikhila Vimal asks a boy named Sivanandan Ponvel to come for a dance practice on a Saturday for a program during the annual day. The way this seemingly innocent incident builds and builds and builds and builds towards the climax is simply extraordinary. It has the happiness of skipping daily wage work at a plant and farm. It has the sadness of hunger that goes on because every time the boy finds food, he's not allowed to sit down and eat. It has irony because the daily wage laborers eat heartily and had Sivanayan then gone with them as his mother had asked him to, his stomach would have been fed, especially as his mother packed two meals for him. He's caught stealing, he's punished, then there is death, lots of death. This is one of the best passages of cinema I have seen in recent times. The story of Vare is based on true events and it opens with Sivanayan in distress. Something is terribly wrong. He is weeping, he is limping, he keeps yelling and we don't hear human words all we hear is an animalistic sound. Usually when a film opens this way, it's the writer or the director's way of starting with a high on a heavy dramatic note so that we are instantly hooked. That is certainly the case here, but this is also a false climax. The resolution to this drama occurs around midpoint and some people in the audience may say, is that all? But a couple of things are happening here. One, Sivanandan's family is being pushed deeper into poverty. This is the gentlest, most humanistic interval block in a while. And two, being poor means that the boy has to spend his weekends as a daily wage earner, like his sister and mother, carrying plantain loads on their heads between the farm and the truck that will take his produce to the market. This is the 1990s in a village named Karungulam, and the period is marked by references to Ramarajan, Rajnikanth, Kamal Hassan, and Vijay Puve Onakaga. Normally, kids look forward to weekends, but Sivanayan likes school and he is a good student. He does not want to be a daily wage earner. We have heard of kids playing truant, skipping school, but here it is the reverse situation. Sivanayan wants to go to school and play truant at the banana plantation. This is a story told through Sivanayan's eyes and he sees everything. He sees how much in debt his mother is. He sees how much like his father Kani, that is the Kalearasan character is. The young man speaks of oppression and exploitation and low wages and we see that Sivanandan's father was once a card-carrying communist. Even the conflict between Kani and his employer is introduced to us through Sivanandan and soon after, when he is chased from the scene, we move to another scene instead of returning to what happened in that conflict because Sivanandan is no longer there. There is one part of Vare that some of us may never fully understand because it is so autobiographical. A constant sense of guilt hangs over the film and a part of it may be survivor's guilt. Also, Poongadi is a reincarnation of the kind teacher from Pariyaram Perumal. Like in Karnan, we get a constant sense of the local gods watching these happenings. So the film is autobiographical even from Mari Selvaraj's cinema point of view. We get the many shots of nature, the many insects and birds and animals, the shifts between black and white and colour, and the symbolic use of a door like the symbolic use of the bus in Karnan. Deni Ishwar's cinematography is so attuned to the mood of the movie, so harsh and realistic that when we get a composed shot, like two boys being reflected in a puddle or a soft sunset, it looks like it belongs in a different film. Vare is a good movie and the world building is fantastic, but but what holds it back from becoming a truly great film is the melodrama and the typical Tamil film elements that seem to have been inserted to make the story a little more mainstream, a little more palatable, a little easier to swallow. Santosh Narayan's songs are excellent. It's his best album in a while, but on screen, the songs are big speed breakers. His background score is huge when a minimalistic approach might have been more appropriate. Like Teni Ishwar's cinematography, I wish the score had been invisible. It's fun to see Sivanayan and his best friend Shekhar played by Rahul, but the scenes with Pungodi teacher go on and on and on. This takes away from the film's intensity. Take a stretch involving a handkerchief. This bit is spread over six or seven scenes between Sivanayan and Shekhar, between two teachers, between Sivanayan and his sister, between Sivanayan and Pungodi just goes on. These scenes may have worked better 
had these characters been less one note. I loved how Sivanandan's mother, played by Janaki, was written. She is a multifaceted woman. We see her grief in front of her dead husband's photo. We see how she resolves her money situation using her earrings. We see her body weakened with fever. And we see why she wants her son, her eighth standard son, to carry loads of plantains at the farm. Yes, his neck is getting bent because of his labor, but she says he needs to know how to work. These lines sound more powerful in Tamil. Janaki is excellent as is Ponvel as Sivanandan. The boy has deeply expressive eyes and his performance is so lived in that acting seems an inadequate word for it. There is a fantastic edit when Sivanandan is lost in his black and white frames and we cut to his mother and sister carrying their loads at the farm. The cut between the black and white and the colour, it says so much about the emotions the boy is feeling. Even if Sivanandan is not physically present, we see his point of view through these cinematic decisions. The love angle between Kani and Sivanandan's sister has no flavour, but the biggest flaw in the film is the depiction of a major tragedy. We have already seen the results of this tragedy and it's a brilliant, brilliant stretch where death and hunger and guilt and agony all seem jumbled into one giant existential mess. So when this tragedy is actually shown as a cutaway, it violates the rule that most things are what Sivanandan has seen or has felt. This takes us away from his point of view. And two, the huge and very typical melodrama diminishes the pain of the moment. But if these are the commercial Tamil film compromises needed to bring this story to screen, we really shouldn't be complaining. The short story in the second half of Vare is a thing of true power and terrifying cinematic beauty. Most people in the theatre I saw the movie and sat through the sad song that plays over the end credits. It isn't easy to get up and go. The film stays with you and you want to stay with it as long as you can. And that's it about Vare. And remember the Kotukali review is also on this channel because it was done from Berlin long ago. So if you like these reviews, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. Oh, love. Your dream vacation to Turkey starts from Rs. 79,999 only with GT Holidays. India's number one travel brand.